Penny with rats. We're, we're about, about to close in on them right now. So we're headed to Penny's house. I personally was in contact with her and you can just hear in her voice the frustration. This is her first and new house. She's been in it for about a year. She's been dealing with a local pest control company from my understanding who's just been trapping and setting some poisons. When it hasn't been successful, she did some research, found us online and said, guys, I really need you to come out. We made it on our schedule to get out there and give her a help because it's her breath new house it's her first house so we're about to show up figure this out once and for all Hi. 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 this Hi. is stephanie the roommate hey, stephanie, Hi. nice to meet you are you hearing the noises as well um no so i guess she had someone come in and they caught the two rats or mice whatever they were um okay. but she still wants to check if there's any like open pipes that they're getting into okay all right let's go to the bathroom yeah so let's go back this way one bathroom is here. Okay. The noises are in here is what, what yes. I was, okay. Between this wall, and then let me show you the, the other bathroom is. So they're back yeah, to back. Back to back. Yeah. Okay. Is this Penny's room yes, here? Yes, this is okay. Penny's master. So this is the, the most active is this wall here. Yes, this is in where she's bathroom. hearing them. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And they caught two. When was that? Uh, so the, you know how they I told you, I think they told you that they had the guy come back yeah. and he caught two. Okay. And she said since she caught the two, she hasn't been hearing anything. So she's hoping those were the two, but she doesn't know if there's a nest or babies. Yes. Okay. But we're sort of in the mode of, well, this is the third time this has happened. Yeah. It, They're going to keep coming back. Exactly. <laughs> we we got to find their entry yeah, point. Yeah, right. All right, let's head up to the roof, get to that stack where those bathrooms are. It doesn't even smell like sewer. There's a pipe right here that's just wide open. You need to see it. So this right here should have been excluded. Are you even trying? All right, we're gonna go ahead and run the camera down this line right here because these bathrooms obviously have the most activity. Yeah, with the camera, it's, it's not showing anything that's truly evident, but uh, we see a suspect area. It's hard to show on camera, guys, but we're gonna go ahead and introduce smoke here. Gonna walk the perimeter here and see if there's anything that's suspect as well. Here's the bathroom. Here's that common wall with the other bathroom here. Oh. That's disgusting. Oh, there's another one over here, guys. Check this out. Poisoned. I know they're under contract with another pest control company doing all the trapping, so these rats have been up here a while, so I don't know what they were doing when they were setting the traps. You would think they would clear up the dead rats, but... I'll talk to Penny about that. All right, Dave's over here getting the sewer line prep for the smoke. Pump it, pump it, pump up the jam. Pump up the jam. So when you're doing a smoke test, the reason why this is super important is we don't want all that volume of smoke to go down into the sewer. If you're losing 60, 70% of that smoke down the sewer, then the odds of finding those small entry points, especially when you don't have walls opened up, makes it very, very difficult. So just wanted to offer that point there. Ooh, nice. All right, we've got smoke. Here we go. All right, we're looking for smoke. All right, nothing here yet. Let's go up in the attic area. Oh, gosh. The insulation everywhere. Oh, oh. What the heck? Well, that's not normal, is it? Yeah, tons of smoke. Go in the other bathroom, Davo? Yeah. So we're getting more smoke on that side of the bathroom. Yeah, we're getting a huge amount of smoke here on this side. Coming out of the angle stops. Let's remove these items under here. And make a small incision underneath the bathroom. Dave's getting ready to get up in the attic. Inspect above that toilet in that bathroom. <sighs> it's interesting, huh? Electrostatic. All that insulation is getting stuck to that light bulb. All right, I see a little bit of smoke over there. That's where we're headed. Oh, this is a dusty mess, you guys. I'd rather be in a dirty crawl space than this. It's like two feet across. Should be every 16, 18 inches here. 
some wood structure. Let's take a look here. Oh. Yep. Let's see. Another hole right here. Interesting that we're getting more over here than we are where the pipe is. All right, we're gonna seal this up. We don't want the rats to go back down in the wall. Look at that, guys. We found illegal connection there. And uh, I don't think there's a vent for this right here. Well, that's not good. All right, guys. I want to let you guys know that this is our new amazing vacuum. It's made by Ram Air. The guy, David Hart, that invented this whole system for air duct cleaning has provided this for us and uh, i tell you it is a game changer i mean we were using the rigid vacuums but that ram air supersedes rigid all day long when we opened up mm -hmm. underneath the lab we took our camera and we looked to the left right. where pen is hearing it is directly behind the toilet in the studs there's a hole where the, the rats are migrating so I understand now why she's hearing a lot because my brother Dave, when he was up into yeah. the attic, that was their runway. We're gonna have to remove the toilet and then open up that wall because okay. there's a cess there's something that's going behind that okay. particular wall. Okay. So this probably comes back to when the sewer guys. Possibly, we'll there could see. be some negligence there. Because they totally took the toilet. I mean, they cut out that whole wall almost. We'll see. Yeah. We're, we're gonna see what they did here. Okay. Okay. All right, so Dave now is getting set to remove a toilet. Dave, do you know how to remove a toilet, detach a toilet? I, I just YouTubed it, and what happened was one of my videos popped up, and I followed those instructions, and oh, cool. pretty amazed. When was this done? Um, when she moved in, so it was uh, 2020. This entire wall was wide open and all the plumbing was exposed? Yep. And they charge you $14,000 to open this up and do the outside where the kitchen is. As you can see here, the plumbers just installed the 90. They did not connect to a vent, so it's definitely negligent on their part right off the bat. I'd say that's pretty negligent. Oh yeah, tons of smoke. All right, so what we've decided to do is take this vanity off here. So it just gives us enough Might have to remove this mirror. Might have to remove this mirror here too. So what happened is you could see the new ABS pipe right. that they came in, right. but they didn't properly vent the, the lab out. Mm -hmm. And then they just took the old galvanized vent stack right. and didn't even make a connection there. Just, I just, I just I looked like they just, they just stuck, one stuck in. it in there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. let us, what, what I'll do is we'll, we'll remove the vanity. We'll get everything exposed. Okay. And then I'll give them a call and let them know they need to come back and fix all that plumbing. Oh, okay. After they came in and did all their sewer work, she was still having sewer smell in that bathroom. Like it, we could smell, we couldn't figure out where it was coming from. It was worse if you opened the vanity doors. Uh, that explains it right that there. Explains mm -hmm. it. Were they originally called out because of sewer odor? Yes. <gasps> she contacted them saying, I'm having a sewer smell. And they said, well, that's not us. And that was after they did the work. Right. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's a wide open pipe. Yeah, this is a negligent install here. This should have been vented and connected to a vent. This should have came continued this way mm -hmm. and then connected to a vent. Connected to that vent right there. What we're gonna do is get to the Santee, make sure that this connection to this four inch stack is in perfect tack. If it is, then we can do is we'll make this proper connection, bring this up and tie back into this vent here. So Dave's calling the plumbing company here. Let's see how they react here. It was a project you guys did back in 2020. And what was your name again? My name is David. And where are you calling from? Calling from that address that I gave you. Okay, are you with the company or something? Yeah, I'm with a company and a family friend. All right, I'll have the manager call you. What's the new phone number for you? I'm gonna send him a message now and ask him to call you. Okay, thank you, it's pretty urgent. I appreciate it. So we're not only gonna take care of the rat issue, but we're also gonna take care of that sewer odor issue as well. It's 
still waiting for the plumbing company to call me. It's been about two hours, no phone call. Why this is important, you guys, because we want to, before we touch their plumbing, we want to be able to give them the opportunity to come in and repair it. If not, we're just going to continue to move forward and document everything, and then hopefully they have a case to go back after them to recoup some of this uh, lost money. Anytime you guys hire anybody to do any work inside the wall, we encourage you to take photos of before and after, so that way if there is a sewer odor, if there's a some type of issue, you guys have a good idea of what it looks like inside that wall. That'll save you a lot of aggravation. So doing any work inside that wall, take pictures of everything. Make sure you document that, store that away. So if there is a future problem, you sort of know exactly what type of work and quality of work was done inside that wall. All right, so we took an extra long lunch. Been gone an hour and a half. We waited. What do you say, Jim? three hours or so uh, it's been about four hours now yeah four hours we've been waiting for that plumber to give us a call back no call back in the home service business whether it's plumbing electrical HVAC whatever it is it's super important to be communicative and when somebody calls in from a property that you've serviced and we claimed it urgent you would think that they'd have heart to immediately call to see what the issue is and that's especially a, especially a large company correct you know, a nationwide company you would think they would be able to have that type yep. of service but so look at their work though we're, we're headed back right now we're going to ask uh, penny's mother who's representing her because penny's a school teacher so she wasn't able to be there today but we're just going to find out if they if they want us to do the work or they want us to just stay back and wait for mr to come back in and finish up the work so we'll know that here in a little bit all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to do some decontamination and extraction up up here because we did find some debris so we're going to get some of that cleaned up and sanitized hey boy boy smelly oh, rats you smelly rats oh you smelly rats Okay, as you can see, we've got brand new pipe coming up. What we're gonna do is reuse the piece of wood. What we're gonna do is triple waterproof this. The last thing we need is a heavy rain and any drips. Do not want this on your hands. I always wanna wear a glove, so what we do is we'll dip our hand in there and then what we'll do is we'll seal seal all the joints here now i'm not a roofer so don't be laughing smear this over the screws we don't want to have any water settle in okay we're completely sealed i went ahead and added some of this this is rubber seal roofers if you're watching scale of one to ten ten being absolutely horrible what would you rate this roof work here this patch job okay while we're up here on the roof you can see this little tree right here hangs right over the roof this needs definitely cutting back. And then back over here, the backyard tree, as you can see, creates a nice little path for the rats to come in and jump up on the roof here. Now, there's no way for them to get in, especially with all the exclusion work, but if they get in underneath, they can literally, depending on the aggressiveness of, chew their way back in. That's why you want that plant life, vegetation, away from the structure of your roof. Okay guys, I will never, ever, ever just deploy a, a rat trap without doing these two steps here. You will increase your capture rate by at least 60% if you just do these two things. When we're getting lazy and we're just throwing the rat traps up there with some bait, we're either getting the rats to come in from the side, taking the bait, or taking the bait and getting away from this kill area here. So what we've done is we've secured the bait with some small wire. As you can see right there, they got to fight to get to the bait here. Then the other thing is we secured this little pipe strap over it here, and that's gonna force them not to come in from the side, it's gonna force them to come to the front. So now they gotta get their heads in there, and then also they're not able to see through their peripheral vision the kill bar coming around. So there is a better technique than this, but for 89 cents, this is amazing right here. This is what we're gonna do on every rat job going forward, is this right here. We've just lost too many rats because we're not following this protocol right here. All right guys, we're gonna use this plastic rat trap here. I never use them, but it's one of the most popular Amazon rat traps. So I thought, oh, you know what? Let me, 
Let me give it a shot here. So we, we put some candy in it and this will be shut like this, okay? So they, they now have to come through here to get to the bait. And then over here, we've secured the Victor rat trap on this piece of drywall. This is what we're going to test out up in that attic here. We don't know if there's rats. A lot of times it's a 50-50 chance. We do all the work, we're making a lot of noise and those rats get down the sewer pipe and they're gone. Hopefully we could test these out. We're also gonna set up our camera here to really observe if the rats are neophobic with this type of rat, uh, rat trap. Are they really gonna go into this tunnel right here and go after that bait. Now, if they're starved, absolutely. They have no other choice but to hit this. But it'll be interesting to see if they're gonna choose this one versus the Victor rat trap. All right, we're gonna feature something today that's pretty cool, also Ram Air International created. We're gonna go ahead and Santa jet inside this wall here. And uh, let me show you what that looks like, pretty cool. So we have a ball right here, and this is going to displace our enzyme inside the wall. So we'll see it in action right now. We connect this here, which has our twinzyme inside this canister. When we hit that gun, our enzyme is gonna be displaced with that ball. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now inside that bathroom. That's pretty smart thinking. So you see that mist gets way up in there, spreads and displaces our enzyme. So it makes that wall completely deodorizes and sanitizes at the same time. All right, so now all the plumbing is done. We've capped this off here. We're going to now reintroduce the smoke and make sure we're not getting any other smoke before we start wrapping things up. Do you agree, Enrique? Yes, I agree. Awesome, here we go. So over there, lots of rats up there still? We don't know. Your insulation is like this thick. Yeah, yeah it's massive. Insulated. So we're putting the rat traps secured on, a, on this pipe or the drywall. So it's gonna sit right on top of the insulation. Okay. So if there is any left, this camera's gonna notify us tonight. Since I caught the last two right there, I haven't heard anything, but. Okay, so you caught them over here then? Yeah, there was two traps right there. Were you guys uh, historically catching more on this side than, than over there at the bathroom? I think the last guy, I think he was only putting traps right there, to be honest, I don't think he put any traps on the other side. Oh, originally, I was gonna set it over there above the bathroom with all that thick insulation. They said they've been catching more rats on this side. So you can see the difference between this rat trap just laying up here versus what we have right here. We got perfect visibility there. Cover this up. Lock and load. Hey, it's been a long day. We've got a lot accomplished today. Vents open, correcting improper Plumbing, good day though. I think half, uh, Penny's very, very happy with her mom and uh, great, great people. So we're uh, gonna want pick up tonight, monitor those cameras, be back tomorrow. We're gonna put some of the venting caps up on the roof and I uh, think we got it. We'll be back tomorrow. Day two. All right, day number two. We're gonna get our guys going on the reconstruction phase. That's putting the vanity back, drywall patching, all that good stuff. And I think this job's a wrap, right, Jimmy? Yeah, and unfortunately, but fortunately for Penny, we didn't get any rats last night. That's the camera didn't pick up the, the activity. Right. The activity, but let's go look at that and make sure. feels really good to be able to come in and offer taking care of the sewer odors, the rats, the patch, paint, do all the plumbing. So that's one of the reasons why they chose us as well is that we're a one-stop shop. They didn't have to coordinate with Penny's schedule all these different vendors. Uh-huh. They pull one of the screws they missed. Appreciate you, man. Thank Always, you. man. You'll get everything cleaned up. Yes, sir. First, we'll put the vanity back in the toilet. We'll be good to go. Well guys, we're gonna go ahead and leave our crew to finish up the final touches here. Please leave your comments down below on this episode. Hit that subscribe button and we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.